We've Ooh. returned. Hello. It's been about it's been about five minutes. Uh, yeah, give or take. Give or take. Give or take. Give, give or, or take. Give or take. So, I feel like we ended on a cliffhanger last time. No, we ended on going down a checklist really slowly. So yeah. that's sort of that's sort of a cliffhanger in Nancy Drew's terms. You know what I think we should do, KB? What should we do? I think we should go outside. Yeah, I think we should go outside too. See, see, see what's in the world. See what's out in the world. Yeah. Well, also, apparently, we haven't adequately explored the the, the website. The website. <laughs> the, right. the Waverly Hall internet. Well, let's see. Let's see what's out here. Oh, plus in gazebo. I can't leave yet. Oh. There's still too many strange the fuck? things going on here. I just want to get you. to the gazebo, Nancy. Oh, maybe I have to. Oh, here we go. There's that oh. tree, and there's a squirrel up there. Wow. Okay. Oh. Wow. That squirrel was really going for it. Can I... I can only look up or down, and I can't okay. go so in. So that's... This is the squirrel's zone, primarily. Yeah, that's just... That's a that's a zone for squirrels. And I can go this way. This? Oh. Okay. Oh, a basement. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. Yes. Okay. Oh shit. Oh what God, do you think's Jack, down here? We're gonna get in. We're gonna. We're what? gonna we get in so get much, in so much trouble. Trouble. Yeah. Oh, my phone is next to the. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. A boiler puzzle. Okay, what do we got down here? Oh! Sounds fun. Science if I talk to Detroit. Fun. So odds are you'll find this book exceedingly tedious. Okay. By Dr. Detroit. I mean, oh. you know what you're getting into, I suppose, with Dr. Detroit. Did we put nope, it we in didn't our... pick it up. No. Oh. Macroeconomics in French Cinema by Baron Bullmarket. Okay. The human brain. I see what's happening. This is just a little recurring bit. The ESO Bruce Cortex. America Land of Adventure by Lance oh. Hathaway. Whoa! Oh! Oh my god. Okay. This is Nancy Drew, right? Where it's like, <laughs> usually you'd want to get the plot critical stuff out of then four of your jokes, but. Uh, okay. Okay. So we have some colonizer Learning propaganda. About... Uh huh. <laughs> uh. I don't really know what we're meant to take in here. Um, are we going to have to organize the states <laughs> by mm, where they are? May maybe? I mean, I hope I would hope that my like um my own American You'd upbringing just be able to do that. would be able to do it, but I mean maybe are we supposed to think, you know, like we're in the mid-Atlantic? I don't know. We were taught like a bunch of tangential Civil War history in Thornton Hall. Oh, we were, weren't oh, what's, we? Oh, I can't look at that book. I thought it was, it looked out like of the, place. That was a particularly but... enticing book. I mean, this, this is really. This, this... <laughs> look at it. Oh my think God. I think that boiler needs more valves, KB? Mm. I've reset them. Hey, what is this? Can we open those little doors? I think that's what would happen when I correctly turn all these valves the right way. Mm. Mm. Okay, well. Don't know if this is it, but. The Lord only knows what the fuck we're supposed to come back to that. Oh. What? What is that? I don't know. But there's like a bat here. There's Do you bat. see? Yeah, look at that. Batman? <gasps> Excuse me. So shocked were you. <laughs> I was so shocked with the idea that Batman could be here. Um, I guess we're not going to get in trouble. But we are going to get mildly confused. I, I mean, I'm already mildly confused. Oh, this is where they... The um... stone looks different than it did in that book. Oh. Huh. Oh. 
Oh, 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 what? Oh, shit. We can make it look like it does in the book, maybe? Yeah, but we have to, we have to have a reference image first. Okay. Well, back <laughs> to the... Well. 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 Oh, we can see if we can check off explore outside as well. Yes. That might... Yeah, that might give us a... I'm Oops. very pro checking things off in this game. Mm. Oh, we have to go and upload I those photos onto the website. Of course I don't mind. Check. Yeah, so we've explored everything and it does not include the gazebo. So let's head to the library, upload those photos, read everything oh, on the school website. Uh-huh. Check. Um... Check out That's the cellar. Fun. It looks like something goes into those little niches in that dripping wall down in the cellar. Figure out what. And figure out how to close up that square inset in the cornerstones. Oh, so is it just that we have to fill in the oh, square? Oh, we just have to close it up? Huh. I mean, we can double check. Because we can do that. How's it going? Okay, so nobody wants to, to talk going. about the scream. See ya. Edward Munch's the scream ba, 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 ba. And, and we'll have all these uploaded now and presumably rachel will be presumably uh what where are we supposed to oh click oh, the the candidate yeah, 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 right. yeah. yeah perfect what zoom yeah what oh. why would you do this that's web design jack the client is never happy So, why is this a bad pan? It's perfect. Okay. So we have to go get another photo of these people. Right? Is that what I'm to understand? Or maybe I could just upload it again. No. Oh no, okay. I'm just gonna. Maybe we should like. T I don't know. How do we know when we've seen everything? I suppose just by when Nancy this. says. And that's the. Oh, we can. Oh no. Nope. Okay. Uh, the library page. We've we've done that. Ah. Ah. So it's Izzy's. Bl oh, they're talking about the squirrel. Okay, hold on. I urge you oh. to. Oh. Okay. Oh, you you go ahead. Sure. Uh, as you'll recall, last month I expressed concern that Casper, our beloved resident albino squirrel faced certain starvation this winter because Waverly's groundskeeper had begun keeping the ground below the oak tree where Casper lives spotlessly clean. Practically every acorn that fell was swept up almost immediately, giving Casper no chance to collect them and store them for the winter. Okay, so maybe the groundskeeper was doing this because of the infamous great popcorn heist back in September, where Casper ransacked the backpack of some careless freshmen and caused the contents of the bag of the popcorn within to get blown from one end of campus to the- that was infamous? Yes, Casper made a mess. Cutting off his supply of acorns in response was cruel and unusual punishment, right? Anyway, in reaction to the groundskeeper's overreaction, I urged all of you to go out every day and gather as many acorns as you could and pile them at the base of the oak tree so Casper would have enough food in the winter. I called this the SOS campaign, brackets save our squirrel, and guess what? It worked! The school has ordered the groundskeeper to back off and only clean the grounds under the oak tree twice a week. And so, ladies, thanks to my suggestion and your efforts, Casper is once again scampering up and down his tree, merrily gathering acorns and getting into his usual mischief. Well done, all of <sighs> us. Okay. Campus Word Weekly blog is written by current student body president Izzy Romero. Oh, you know? Okay. Okay. Uh, oh my god, someone stole an mp3 player from Whittier Hall. And a silver necklace and earrings. 
Mm. Double take. How fast are you? Oh my god. Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. oh my god. Whoa, oh! Whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. We came oh. here. All right, let's go. Sheep. Lion. Lion. Uh, squirrel. Snake. Uh, like, uh, oh. Faster. oh, 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 oh. Okay. Elephant. Uh, bird. Pointy shark. Pig. Oh. Oh, squirrel, squirrel. Um. No. <laughs> they were neighbors. Oh, they and they were, were, they were, they were neighbors. neighbors. Have oh, we pig, seen? Pig, oh. Pig. Wait. So where have we seen the hog before? Ah! <laughs> wow, it was in your gut, hog discovery. And the elephant is somewhere up around here too, right? Yeah, there we go. Long, long bird. Oh, snake, snake. And pointy, um... This is hard. Oh, oh, camel. It was... To the right of the snake. That's a monkey. Okay. We gotta get outside our comfort zone. I know, I know. It's really important when you're playing a match three game to get outside of your comfort zone. Look, there's animals there. Oh. God. I like the backs of these cards. There are a lot of these, aren't there? There are a lot of these. This bunny is just... I know, haunting oh, we me. We keep clicking it. Ah. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, okay, do we have to get first place? Uh, we get a bunch of merit points if we get, uh, oh. if we get first place. Oh. Well, that would be nice. Um, Do you think that now we've... uh? Oh. Take all the pictures correctly. That's done. Great. Done. Okay. It's you. Okay. So we actually need another photo of Izzy. Don't we also need a photo of Kareen as well? Yeah. I read your I blog. Need to take your picture again. Sorry. Fine with me. Let's go, Vecca. I read your blog on the school website. Oh yeah, you like it? I thought it was awesome. I thought it was awesome. Gotta keep my name out there, you know, and my face. I mean, it's doubtful some rich, powerful person is gonna be checking out Waverly's website, but you never know. You know, you never know. I need to. You get know, going. you never know. Adios. You know, you never know. Okay, uh, so let's just re-examine. Oh, so it is. Yeah, it's just it's closed. Yeah, just all closed up. Oh, okay. still no plath, huh? Still no plath. So no plath. So no, so no plath. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh. No, it's an academics because the valedictorian. It was a terrible photo, but we did that on purpose. We did do that on purpose. I wish that it would tell me immediately. So good She's zoom, check it. bad pan. Seems... Oh, it's her hand. Does it need to be in there? Is that what you're trying to say? It might, it might be, yeah. But it said the What's zoom up, was room? good. I yeah, need to take your picture I know. <sighs> Oh, oh no, she's blinking. No one can't do this. I'll let you get back to your paper. <sighs> she's she's gonna get so made fun of, Jack, if she has to have her hand in there. I know they'll say, "Why is your hand in there?" They'll call her Kareen Kareen one hand. What one handed picture? One one handed Kareen. 
teens. <laughs> They're so mean. I mean, we Called are pre beans. we are preemptively making fun of her. I suppose we are, yeah. But we were teens once. We were teens once. Okay, so maybe well, now we can... Could anybody not like those pictures? They're beautiful. Uh, thank you so much, Jack. You know, I really feel like I've got a burgeoning talent. Do you have to have her hand in it, though? Ugh. You know, don't even get me started. Welcome to Planet Valken. Sorry? Because the val hey, it's the valedictorian. Yes! Oh. Sure did. Fab. Now I what? What? Page. Just get back on the computer. So we're just in, doing all on, her homework? The link again. It'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. Okay. Oh. Yeah, what if I'd rather lay everything out my way? What if I'd rather lay everything out my way? You can't. That would be cheating. This is my project. It's got to be done my way. <laughs> okay. I'll check the page, <laughs> down to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. And once the layout is perfect, report back to me because I'll probably have something else for you to do. None of these women should be valedictorian. That. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday. I someday? Can... Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. Right. She doesn't seem like she wants to be my friend. I'm not gonna go in, Jack. I'll get in trouble. You're so scared of getting a demerit. No. Oh. oh. That noise means. <laughs> Plagiarism? Is that true or is it just a rumor? <gasps> Oh my god, that's a lot of demerits. That is a lot of demerits. Oh my god, what do you think, Leela? Hey, what's going on? No, absolutely I not. Bye. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. We should go see Mel, right? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Did okay. that. So let's just... Okay, yep. Check. That's done. Ask Mel what the deal is. Mel, did you did you plagiarize an art history paper? Mel, did you plagiarize your art history paper? Cuz it really does seem like a lot of people are cheating on a lot of their assignments and I think it's unfair. Yeah. How about that? This door's not locked. I don't know why we keep commenting on it's that. Not true, if that's what you want to know. So they're not going to so expel not you. they're going to expel you? They're sure talking about it, which is so unfair. Mm. I mean, I may bend the rules now and then, especially the stupid ones, but I have never cheated on a test or turned in a paper somebody else wrote, ever. Why do you, why do they think you did? Why do they think you did? Mrs. Arlington, that's my art history teacher. She matched my paper with something on Paper Trail. Paper Trail? Hmm. Paper Trail. Uh, turn it in. It's a website all the teachers here <laughs> go to when they want to compare a paper that's been handed in with papers available on the internet. Students aren't supposed to know about it. Not only is it insulting that they'd think I'd cheat, but that I'd do it in such a way that I was sure mm. to get caught. Come on, I am not that stupid. Did you recently get a second yeah. note? Is it true you recently got a second note from the black cat? Yeah, I got the first note the day after Megan left. If I could just get online, I could clear all this up, but I can't. And whoever this black cat person is knows it. This is just so frustrating. Unless... Becca, look, I'm not anyone's favorite person at this school. The kids, the teachers. If I get kicked out, nobody's oh. gonna care. I don't deserve this, and I need help. Just before the school booted me offline, I got a glimpse of the IP address of whoever posted the paper I supposedly plagiarized. I didn't get a chance to write it down, but I do remember that none of the digits in it repeated. Yo. So you can track it down. That's all I'm asking. Could you do that? Sick. Please? Yeah. We're gonna be a hacker. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of. I'm a not a cop. <laughs> Here's the paper I got back from Mrs. Oh my God. Just go to the academics page on the school website and look under resources for paper trail. 
If you enter a data source code, it'll tell you the IP address of the person who posted the paper I allegedly... Yo! And none of the numbers are the same. Okay. Oh. This paper was plagiarized! Oh my god, we have to look at so many. Man, just knowing someone's on my side is a huge relief. Anyway, oh. what's new with you? I'll let Absolutely you get back to your nothing. music. I don't want to I'll talk and I don't know much about you as a person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Golly. Jack, things are really heating up at this school, huh? They sure fucking are. Yeah. So so we we have web design to do, we have some a bit of hacking to do, and we can rearrange that outdoor puzzle, right? Yeah, let's go rearrange the outdoor puzzle, I think. Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, beeping good. outside. So I'm inclined okay. to give this a shot. Yeah, totally. Um. Ah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. It's one of these, is it, Nancy Drew? Oh, uh, one of these. Okay. We've seen the likes of you before. Sure Nancy have. Nancy Drew puzzle. Sure Except Every have. single time. God, they sure do. All right, see you on the other side. Hello. Hello, welcome back. So I sort of just... Sort of kind of got it back to where it was originally. Yeah, right? I just sort of recreated it. Uh... Mm. Yeah, maybe exactly recreated it. <laughs> okay. I mean, what if it simply can't be done? Have we considered that? Oh, you mean this is the... This is... It can't... It's not it's possible. Yeah, it's... it's Impossible. Oh, you think it might be an impossible one? Yeah, I think it might be impossible. Impossible. Um, I mean, these are the same size piece. It seems yeah. to me. Do you and think it's... that crack that goes through them will go all the way through the middle? You see it on the left and right. Oh, oh my goodness! And there's one on the top too. Jack. And there's one on the bottom. Whoops. You're so smart. Look at this. Thank you, yeah, look. Oh, shit. Well, that seems right. Yeah. I mean, do you think that, like, this goes here? <gasps> oh, oh. oh, my gosh. Jack. Holy shit. Oh! Whoa! Oh my gosh. Huge shout out to Jack DeKeet. <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh! Well, hey, little guy. What's oh my up? goodness. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, come on. Come back here. No, Casper. Oh, come oh, on, fuck. Casper. We got squirrels. Fuck you. Fuck you, Casper. Fuck. Okay. Hallowell. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. If you wish to forget anything on the spot, make a note that this thing is to be remembered. Marginalia that she must have just seen. I do not wish to forget, but others must before the day comes when it is safe to be recognized for what I have done. Over a decade has passed, yet I continue to feel as if someone were watching, about to expose me for the villainous I in some ways am. Poor Usher, my beautiful cat, is my sole comfort, but he continues to dislike our new home. Even the warmth of his favorite lamps no longer calms him, <laughs> unless accompanied... Those lamps are my cat's favorite. Oh, it must be the piano lamps, because it says unless oh. accompanied by the piano rendition of their musical narration. First low bass, then coloratura. Oh. oh, oh, that's a raven. Experience has shown, and a true philosophy will always show, that a vast, perhaps the larger, portion of the truth arises from the seemingly irrelevant. The mystery of Marie Roget. Indeed! A day spent <laughs> afield sketching a beautiful raven has allowed me to discover this for myself. Its cousin, the crow, is not nearly as noble a creature. Well, they're both noble in their own way. 
But how to tell the two apart from the apart from a distance? Close observation of the wedge tail, large bill, shaggy breast ruff. Virginia has some of that. And mm. elegantly long primary feathers lead to a wondrous conclusion. Reconstruction of these United States will lead to an even oh, more wondrous conclusion. God. But that is a subject for an altogether Me. different classroom. Me by the lake thinking about the, the raven. Me by the lake thinking about the reconstruction of these United States. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On the morrow he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. Classic Edgar Allan Poe, rhyming flown before with flown before. Oh, you know, it's, you can't, you can't, you know, he did a, he did a pretty, he, he put in some effort. Yeah, he known... and Edward Gorey were lovers. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. To have known Edgar Allan, oh, sorry. To have known Edgar Allan Poe is to have known genius. Though it's now obvious, I shall never be the writer I long ago imagined oh. I would someday become. I have found all the space I need in his writings, so that I scarcely notice as my dreams depart one by one. Oh. Yikes. With a celebrity... Sorry. With a celebratory dinner, an elegant nine-course meal served with perfect etiquette, I bid the last of them farewell. That's very specific. It sure is. Oh, Jack, the menu. Oh, shit, the menu. Yeah, that Leela has. That she checked out. Do you think we might actually have to break into their room? Oh, no. Oh, to get it? Huh. Years come and go, yet the past remains a constant, undimming shadow. And so I have assembled a group and charged it with a... Albeit oh, 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 it's in brackets. And so I have assembled a group and charged it with, albeit unwittingly, protecting and preserving my hidden treasure. Behind the dewpin grate, the Blackwoods chant shall someday reveal <laughs> what history deemed lost. But only after someone's dra but only after someone's dogged curiosity and capacity for clear thought have proved that person to be worthy of the honor. I can do nothing more. Rita Hallowell. Other Poe stories. On a black cat. I love that every young person in a Nancy Drew game is like, you wanna play darts with me? And every person in the past of a Nancy Drew game is like, I had something to do with the Civil War. Yeah. And, and there's no in between. Yep. Yep. She's never played a game in her life. Wow. Ooh. Shit. Closed right back up. Closed right back up. Oh. Hello. Ned. Hey, Ned. I sure am. So how's it going? Uh. Great. The girls I met so far are bright and interesting and seem to like me. Of course they like you. I hope so, because I can tell already that where you fit in socially around here is huge. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. I mean, that's high school. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... Like Which I they said, haven't. Lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? Mm -hmm. Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are crowded oh. tests and madly writing papers. Okay. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. 
Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm gonna search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Right. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, so we could say I've... a nice little summation, isn't it? Yeah. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? The notes from the black cat may have something to do with the teacher named Rita Hollowell. I need to get back. Um, let's give him... Let's work our way down. Give him the... Oh. oh we'll work our way first. up. Yeah. The notes yeah. from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh, yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, Would it? you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be hmm. careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. Cool. Tell me about them. Oof. Okay. Down we go. Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with? She's not exactly Miss Popularity. What makes you say that? So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. That's not good. At this school, it's a disaster. It's a disaster. Mm. <laughs> wow, he's not messing about. Oh. Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. A goth? Believe it or not. As in weird hair and disturbing body piercings? Mm. At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She doesn't have a lot of friends? Doesn't seem to. Is she into black cat? Don't know that yet. Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Keep going. Who else? Tell me. <laughs> Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Is she nice? She is to me. So I mean, far. she did quote unquote steal yeah. the pecking order. <laughs> Multiple people's oh, yeah. friends. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But she's not without enemies. Roost rulers seldom are. Especially when they steal their classmates' boyfriend. Uh, Twice. Asking for trouble. Keep going. Who else? Okay. Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete, and man, is she competitive. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. She's a valedictorian? Yep. Yes, Ned, everyone is. Says she's got everything under control, academically at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Right now, nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it person could be in for it big time keep going who else this girl named rachel asked me to help her with a school project how'd you get out of that i didn't i told her i'd help her and actually it's a good thing gives me an excuse to go poking around talking to people so what's this rachel person like well no one around here seems to like her very much mm. come bad breath bo poor taste in shoes she's just strange somehow Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Sharpening pencils. Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss? I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. You sound like a 
sound excited. I am excited. I like earning credits. <laughs> I also like listening in on everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. Ah. The school administration has accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. So even Waverly girls cheat, huh? Actually, Mel swears up and down she's innocent. You believe her? Yeah, I think I do. She seemed really, really upset. Maybe she's just a good actress. I hope not, because I told her I'd help her try to clear her name. You're getting a little off task, don't you think? Not at all. This gives me an excuse to snoop around. And you can never have too many of those, can you? That's it for now. Watch yourself, Nan. I will, Ned. Talk to you soon. Cute. Okay. Cute. It's a nice little, nice little recap of everything. My goodness. Oh my god. Did that. Check. We got so much to I know, do. I know. Check. And then I think... That's it. Okay. So it's just wow, the ones at the tippy top. I know, so many. Golly. Wow. Well, Where do we begin? Well, first, I think we have to. I can't reach. Uh, oh, we're going to have to climb out oh, of this window. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get up into this tree. We'll have to do it at night time, so Paige won't yell at us. Um, you think uh, Leela is going to ask us to play another game in exchange for the menu? God, probably. Should we ask? I was gonna. No, um, yeah, all right. Oh, what were you gonna do? Um. Head upstairs. Oh, I was gonna see if we couldn't like save Scum and go into um, Leela and Izzy's room. Oh, sure. On? But uh, we'll you we'll do I this instead. The menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer. She's gonna make yeah, us play a game. I got it right here. Uh huh. I it for this lame uh huh. I had to write. Here we go. Forgetting to put it back. What's it gonna be, Leela? I give it to you. Uh huh. Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. And I remember that child. Scram. You get to pick. Uh, who was like? Yeah, uh, Jane. Jane. Oh. <laughs> who wanted us to play every board game in the world over God. and over again? God, well, yeah, healthy, right? before I answer that question, we'll have <laughs> to play a game. That's my impression. Oh, yippee! Um, actually, I'm gonna pick Scram because it's easier to win, and I don't have to wiggle my wrist back and forth. Oh, uh, fair enough. I'm so sorry. We'll see you in a minute. Scram. Excellent. I'm gonna go online and watch some air hockey videos. <laughs> <laughs> I subscribe to an air hockey channel. Yeah, tell me about the air hockey channel. Who runs it? Uh, it's just called Air Hockey. <laughs> it's called... Sorry, the channel is called Air Hockey Videos. It has 396 subscribers. Mm -hmm. And... You know, at least two hundred videos dating mm -hmm. back to, hmm. Oh yeah. Well, for example, I'm gonna watch the 2013 Illinois State Championship, Quezada versus Bingo. Morales. It's 34 minutes long, and it has was uploaded one year ago, and it has one view. Wow. Oh my God. Give us the play-by-play. -play. Okay, they're hitting it back and forwards very quickly on some sort of some sort of air-based table. Uh-huh. Um, it's doing that thing where it ricochets all around. They're wearing sort of special gloves, I think, to help them do it. There's a there's an umpire oh, sitting by the side and watching. Uh, the current score is mm, not uh, it's it's nothing to nothing, I think. Mm. Or, no, maybe it's... This would be a lot more entertaining if I could see the score readout, which I can't. You just have to know the game, Jack. 
Yeah, I sort of have to be keeping track of my own stuff. Nailed it! They're playing very quickly, but they're also playing quite slowly sometimes, you know? <laughs> mm. Just like in life. Bingo! Binjo! Binjo! Bingo! Nuts. It's a much closer game. There's the menu. Thank you. Oh, great. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Need anything else? I better Absolutely get going. Not. I better get going. <gasps> Hang in there. All right. So before we call it, Jack, mm. we have to go through this menu. Yeah, of course, it's a classic Nancy Drew menu. we got to go right through it. So, Im immediate, it's important to take into account the context when you got a menu. This yeah, is a celebratory me, dinner. Tell me about what this menu, like... Okay, wait. I haven't read it yet. Yeah, like, what does it look it. like to you? Well, so, I'm... Here's what I would have for a celebratory dinner. Yeah. You want a starter of some kind, maybe like a soup, sure, or like a or like a really lovely fresh spring salad, really beautiful s starter of a salad. Mm -hmm. um, maybe, maybe, maybe if it's a celebratory function, you got you got a waiters going around with canapes or mm. something. Mm. And then for a main course, you want you know a, a, a pig's head with an apple in his mouth. Whoa! Um, and and you and that's a big middle finger to all the vegetarians. There's the vegetarian option. Oh, what is it? Uh, it is. Uh, it's actually really nice. It's an impossible pig's head with an apple in its mouth. <laughs> well, impossible have really, really stepped it up a notch. I know. They're bringing in the pig's head. What I mean to say is I think this looks a little thin. Mm. Before we delve into it, I do want to give a huge shout out to the impossible Starbucks breakfast sandwich. Oh, yeah. You were really impressed it's with that. It's very good. And people should have, even if you're not vegetarian, just like give it a shot one time. I think, you I think you know, you don't have to be vegetarian to eat it. And I think I think it was delicious. Um, So our celebratory we dinner. With the oysters. Opening with oysters. Which... Is that a classic starter? I'm not sure. I don't know. We typically, when I eat oysters like that, you know, I'm like, we're all in, you know? And I say typically when I eat oysters mm. as if it were a typical thing. <laughs> You're regular. But I would say I get oysters for dinner maybe like once every three years. Yeah. Every other and year. And I have them for dinner. Once every three years, every other year. <laughs> um. You and I got oysters for our birthday, and I think that was the last time I had oh, oysters. Great. Yeah, that was, was great. Was that in D.C.? It was in Montreal. We're such travelers. Oh, yeah, that was really good. It yeah. was. It Didn't was really we nice. also have oysters in D.C.? We had, yeah, at Hank's Oyster Bar, which is like a classic. That's that's a real iconic joint. Um, but I think we went before they had like expanded into more of a like, I mean, like a local local chain. I think they have like six locations now. Oh, wow. um, I mean, oh, well I done, Hank's Oyster Bar. Oh, well, good, good job, Hanks. Um, Mystery I, consomme. Yeah, <laughs> just, just consomme of some kind. Um, terrapin. Does it say terrapin? It yeah. sure does, yeah. Which I guess at the time would have been very in vogue, oh, right? You're saying that very confidently. <laughs> uh, well, like turtle soup, you know? Oh, I suppose, yeah. It's so popular that... Um, they really ran down the number of turtles you can turn oh, into turtles soup. around. Yeah. yeah. Which you shouldn't do. You shouldn't do um, it. Fillet of beef? Mm-hmm. I would argue the first, quote-unquote, normal course. Jack, I mean, like, consomme is a perfectly normal course. Mystery consomme. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's going to be presumably of, you know... Beef, right? Wouldn't you think if we're gonna have fillet of? I don't know. Who knows? You're right. It's a mystery. It's mystery consomme, but it was like a nice hearty broth. Like when we when we went to prune, and they came around that and they were really like, nice. yeah. they were like, do you want a little cup of broth? Yeah, here's a little cup of broth because we don't like to go. You know, nothing goes to waste here. Um, so this is the broth that we've made from the bones of the 
like pork roast that other people are having tonight. And that was we great. Said, Absolutely. Yeah, that was kind of was a wonderful. mystery consomme because it was just given to us and it was of, you know, vaguely mysterious origin. It just arrived. Sorbet. Sure. Sh- sorbet. Mm. Uh, again, mystery. And the fact that it's between uh, well, it is a beef. It is a traditional palate cleanser. So presumably yeah, this wouldn't be say... like a flavored sorbet, but rather would be like um... a cool treat. Yes. Yeah. Then we have a roast spring chicken. Lovely. Sure. Then the cheese Cheese. course. Then the vanilla ice cream. Then Uh some sugared oranges. Then some coffee. Lovely. That sounds great. Honestly, I feel like it. The the back half of this menu. The final five items. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more inclined than the first five. I enjoy the first five. I just it's probably not to my taste. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let me just write this down for the caterers. <laughs> um, great. I wonder what we're supposed to take away from this. Oh, what order Did the that. foods were in. Oh, shit. Interesting. Okay. Okay. And they did it in perfect etiquette. Okay. Interesting. Do you recall when they, she was like, we did it with perfect etiquette? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well, we will have to investigate this in full next time. And maybe we'll learn a bit more about what perfect etiquette means. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much for hanging out with us. And we will see you. We'll see you next time. Oh, do we want I a save first? We should name that. the save file. Um... Uh, what is perfect? How do you spell etiquette? I'm not sure. Let's take a crack at it. Oh, well, it doesn't have a Q at the beginning. I, is it like double I? Double? Oh no! I'm. I think it's one I and then uh, it's one T and then two T's. Wow, that doesn't look right, does it? I know. Put a, put another T in the. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Well, that looks wrong too. Take out the second T. Yeah. No, that looks like etiquette. This is also not wrong to me. Not right to me. I think it's one T, two T's. Okay. All right. Three T's for each one. one. Wait, put an extra T, but only in the second lot. (laughs) Oh. That feels right to me. All right. Perfect. Oh, it's a good game.